it comes up frequently that there are people that are unable or unwilling to follow a ketogenic diet, uh, even in a situation where they're trying to metabolically manage epilepsy or, or other uh, pathologies. So I think it becomes even more important to develop technologies that can allow us to circumvent the dietary restrictions that are typically associated with getting into nutritional therapeutic ketosis. And one way to achieve therapeutic ketosis nutritionally uh, and a way to circumvent the extreme dietary restriction, uh, mostly including a restricting car carbohydrates to get into ketosis, is using ketone supplements. And a ketone supplement, uh, in my mind, can also include uh, the addition of ketogenic fats. And these can be medium chain triglycerides, typically derived from something like coconut oil, which uh, caprylic triglyceride is one example. Uh, it's an eight carbon fatty acid that when it's ingested and metabolized, you create uh, small to moderate amounts of ketones. Mm -hmm. Another example would be ketone salt products. And these are essentially beta hydroxybutyrate combined ionically with minerals, including sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, for example. And uh, the other, probably the, the last one that uh, uh, has been getting a lot of publicity uh, but tastes horrible, is the ketone ester. Mm -hmm. And there is a wide variety of ketone esters that can be formulated and used. All of them that I've uh, experimented with and have tried they all taste bad, but they all do, the ketone esters generally have the highest capacity to elevate and sustain blood ketones over time. Although formulations of the ketone salts, especially with ketogenic fats, are coming close to the potency of the ketone esters, and they taste much better, and they are, I guess you would say they're more natural in that they are uh, sort of they produce bioidentically kind of what your body makes anyway, but you can derive them sort of from natural sources. So although we are very interested in ketone esters, and that's part of a lot of the research that we do, we are uh, probably putting proportionally more time into understanding the potential for ketone salts and things like ketogenic fats, like medium chain triglyceride fats. Mm -hmm. uh, we really like the MCT uh, powders that can be formulated with ketone salts to, uh, to produce rapidly and sustain nutritional uh, ketosis and therapeutic ketosis.